In this video, we will show the use of the concept map module that is a part of the mechanics of materials software from uh, Atlas Potentia. So we click on the concept map button, which takes us to the concept map module. And then we pick one problem type, which involves strain rosette, stress strain transformation, Hooke's law, and the calculation of principal stresses, and calculation of maximum shear stress and maximum shear strain under two conditions. One is plane stress and the other one is plane strain. Here is the concept map that connects all the modules. Actus Potentia's applied concept mapping tool is very much different from many other concept mapping tool that's available in the market. The way we differ from other concept mapping tools is that our concept mapping tool is not just a tool for drawing block diagrams showing the relationship among various concepts but our concept map is an interactive problem solving tool in this concept map if you look at the spine it has uh, principal strains pr hooks law and principal stresses with two small branches this is the rosette branch which does the calculation involving the strain gauge and the moduli node uh, specifies the relationship among the uh, various elastic properties like uh, Young's modulus, shear modulus, and a Poisson's ratio. And then it has two major limbs. And on the right hand side, you can see the limb is a plane strain limb. And on the left hand side, we have a plane stress limb. To use the uh, concept map tool for problem solving, we click on the display variables button. There are three kinds of variables, basic variables, derived variables, and control variables, and we will get to that in this sequence. So first we view the variables. The variable screen is divided into two parts. On the left hand side, you click on these check boxes to tell the program which quantities you know. And on the right hand pane, we, you have radio buttons, so you can click one of these radio buttons telling the program which quantity you want to calculate. In our problem, we know the three strains EA, EB, EC measured by the strain gauge. Theta A, Theta B, Theta C are the angles that the strain gauge makes with some arbitrarily chosen x-axis. And then we also know two material properties, that is Poisson's ratio and the shear modulus. We want to calculate the maximum shear stress, and we will find the maximum shear stress. It's not one of the direct variables, but it's a computed or derived variable. So we look at the list of derived variables, and there we see the maximum shear stress. This is what I want to calculate, so I click on that radio button. And then I look at the control variables to specify whether I'm solving a plane stress or a plane strain problem. Since our rosette is fixed on the free surface of a solid body that is loaded with some forces and moments, I click on the plane stress control button. And so now my problem is posed on this problem solving tool. And then I click on accept changes. I do not want to solve the problem. I want because I am learning how to solve these problems. So I click on the allow computer to solve the map button. And the program gets to work. And then it goes through various combinations and determines whether the problem is solvable or not. And if solvable, then how many different ways can you solve this problem? 
and the program determines that this problem can be solved in three different ways. Uh, this is the relative cost of the three methods or three procedures for solving this multi-step problems that the concept map solution determined and we pick the lowest cost one and then click on use this solution and then the diagram not only shows the solution path with these highlighted nodes but it also on the right hand side shows the calculation steps that I will have to go through. At any stage you can right click on a node and click on the more info button and then it shows you what information is built under that node. So the equation that is built under that node is Young's modulus equals 2 times shear modulus multiplied by 1 plus Poisson's ratio. So in this manner you can go and check any of the nodes to find out what is the information embedded in that node. So these are the three equations that are built under the uh, Hooke's law node. So now let's uh, get to the solution of the problem. You double click on any of the steps going in sequence from 1, 2, 3 and so on. You will notice that we have a step 1, we have a step 2 and there are three steps that are marked as step 3 which means that in step 3 you will need to solve three equations simultaneously. Then you go to step 4, when you go to step 5 you have to solve two equations simultaneously. We will not uh, go through all the 12 steps that the program determined. We will maybe go through only the first few. So you double click on step 1. This is the interactive problem solving part. So you enter the value of the shear modulus which is let's say 500 multiplied by 10 power 9. Uh, the shear, uh, new Poisson's ratio is given as 0.25. You want to determine Young's modulus, so you check that box and then click on the box, so, uh, click on the button solve and it determines the Young mo Young's modulus. After Young's modulus is determined, you just click on finished and then it's a plane stress problem and it is calculating the shear stress in the z direction and obviously for a plane stress problem the z direction stress is zero so you click finished go to step three and then here it solves for x strain y strain and shear strain gxy simultaneously so you click on this is what I want to calculate I want to calculate the y strain and I want to calculate the shear strain you enter the angle of the first strain gauge in the strain rosette let's say it's 30 degrees and the strain measured by this rosette is 200 micro so we type 200 e negative 6 let's say theta b is at 60 degrees that is the angle of the second strain gauge and strain measured by this strain gauge is let's say negative 300 micro so e minus 6 the third strain gauge is at an angle of 120 degrees let's say and the strain measured 
by this strain gauge is let's say 700 micro which is e power minus 6 when you see the box of a color as yellow those are the input boxes and boxes that are either gray or white those are the output boxes so after I have entered the known quantities I click on solve and now the program is solving three simultaneous equations so we have to give it some time so now it has determined the quantities that we want which is the x strain y strain and shear strain and it has come up with these values of epsilon x epsilon y and gxy which is the gamma and this is the x strain y strain and shear strain after the solution is complete you click on finished and go to step 4 and in this step what we are trying to calculate is solved variable so I'm looking at this step 4 solved variable is shear stress in equation Hooke's law solve variable is shear stress in equation Hooke's law I do not want to solve any of these equations at this point so we uncheck those we want to solve equation 4 for the shear stress you will notice one thing that the shear strain that we calculated in the previous screen is automatically transferred to this screen and the shear modulus that we inserted all the way at the beginning as one of the input values is also inserted and then we click on solve and it determines the shear stress and after the shear stress is determined you just click on finished and then we go to step 5 and in this step 5 we say we calculate x stress and y stress so we want to calculate x stress and y stress you would recall that the z stress which is 0 is already determined because it's a plain stress situation and then you click on the solve button and it determines the x stress and y stress and when these are determined you click on finished and then you move to step 6 and then to 7 8 and the solution continues through 12 steps that are given in this problem this concludes this video